everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Panasonic HM-TA1. This is a high definition mobile video camera. Now there are plenty of these on the market to choose from nowadays but the TA1 from Panasonic stands out from the crowd for many, many reasons. Let's just take a quick look inside the packaging and then I'll run through some of the features. First thing you're presented with is a pack with some operating instructions. So nice that you get some printed instructions with the camera. Then inside the main compartment we have got a little lanyard connector, wrist strap. Also get a USB extension cable. And then last but not least you get an AV cable which has got a proprietary connection on one end and then a composite video on the other. And then we've got the camera itself. This is the Panasonic HM-TA1. So let's get all this packaging out of the way and I'll show you the camera up a little bit closer. Now the reason the Panasonic HM-TA1 stands out from the crowd is it first of all it feels very well made. Secondly it's got a really good lens on the front and this has got a video light just above which is good for those low light situations and then the microphone just underneath the lens. Now it also captures 8 megapixel photos and you access that capture by pushing the photo button here as well as 1080p 30 frames per second video capture. There's electronic image stabilization on board and then if I open this flap here you'll see that it does sport a rechargeable battery just in here. Underneath this battery slot is also the SD memory card slot Here's the ST card that I'm using. Now this isn't part of the review but I should just mention that this class 10 8GB SDHC card is from MyMemory.com. Extremely good price and it does perform very well in the Panasonic TA1. So let's pop that back in there. Now this slot actually supports up to, up to a 32GB SDHC card or the larger capacity SDXC cards too. Now this little slidey bit here makes the built-in USB connection pop out the side and you can plug this direct into your computer to get hold of the video capture or you can use that included USB extension cable that I showed you earlier. Retracting it back into the body you just slide this back across, it's quite a stiff there we go, or you can push the USB plug, quite difficult to get back in and then you pop that cover back on. Underneath this slot here, just to show you around the rest of the controls and sockets, there's the AV out connection. Round on this side we've got the power on off button and also that lanyard connector and the back of the camera extremely easy to use. Let's turn it on and I'll give you a look at the user interface. Now, If I give you a close up of this and actually hit the menu button you can see we've got a record setup menu and this allows us to switch between video resolutions and also picture size and I'm navigating it just by going left and right on this control here. There's also a setup menu for TV aspect, TV system and alert sounds and then we can also use it as a web camera, very good feature. Then we've got clock set, format and language and that is it as far as the settings go and recording is extremely easy to start. You can see my hand underneath here now and to start recording we just hit the record button and when we finish recording we just hit the record button again. Now the camera button a little bit different you hold it in and it will focus and once it's focused on your image you push all the way down to take the photo. Playback you simply hit the playback button here and if I push upwards on this navigation control we get thumbnails of all of the video capture that we've already taken. Now I'm going to actually show you some of this video capture now so that you can judge for yourself the quality of the HD video that the Panasonic TA1 is capable of. This is recording in 1080p 30 frames per second with the Panasonic HM-TA1.
Now I'm going to show you the zoom. Bear in mind that this is a four times digital zoom rather than optical zoom. Now I should also mention that it has built-in PC software and this allows you to do direct YouTube and Facebook uploads but Mac users will be equally as happy to hear that the video footage that they capture is very easy to edit in iMovie. Now I was very impressed with the HD video and the sound quality. At 12 megabits per second it's not too compressed. Now the two things that didn't impress me was this stiff USB connector. I just think it feels a little bit flimsy the way it's uh, made with this plastic slider. And also the weak 940 milliamp hour battery didn't impress either. But apart from that, this is certainly one of the best pocket size HD camcorders currently available. And I've been extremely, extremely happy. I can't emphasize it enough with the quality of the video capture. Now the Panasonic HMTA1 is going to cost you £130 in the UK or $180 if you're in the US and I think that represents a very good purchase if you want a portable HD capable camcorder. Well thanks very much for listening, please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.